Hello, my sweet babies. How's everyone doing, my darlings? I hope everyone's doing okay. All right, today I'm going to show y'all how to do this easy project. Now, these uh, blanks came from Dollar Tree. Had them a while. So, I'm assuming you can still find them. Now, you can leave this on or you can take it off. I took mine off and you can put a little hanger on the back or you can put it on one of the um, picture stands, you know, that you put your pictures on. Whatever you want to do. Now, let me tell you what you got to need. What you got to need. What kind of language is that? What you're going to need, okay? All right, you're going to need any kind of um, paper. You can use Bible paper. You can use vinyl. If it's sticky on the back, you can use vinyl. You can use Bible paper. You can use crap paper. You can use tissue paper. You can use anything you want, my darlings. What I'm going to use today is cardstock, okay? And I'm going to be using these two. Now then, I'm going to put them just like that. Now, if you want it to cover your whole butterfly, that's great. That's just what you do. You just cover the whole thing and, and you'll be done. Okay? Cardstock. You're going to need some kind of glue that clears, uh, uh, dries to clear. Okay? If you don't have that, then use a uh, glue stick. All right? Then you're going to need something to cut the paper with. All right. Now, I'm not sure. I got this from Timu. And it's just a little just a little pen that has a blade in it. See that? I'm going to try it since I hadn't tried it. Then you're going to need a paintbrush to do your to spread your glue or if you're using a paint stick, you won't need a paintbrush. Then you're going to need some paint pens of your choice. We're going to do this one in red since the ladybugs are red. We're going to do that one in yellow thinking about doing my kitchen in lemons it's already in grapes and i'm sick of them so i think i want to go lemons put a little bit more light on the sushi now if i forgot anything that you're gonna need then i'll let you know okay baby so let's get started honey buns now what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put our glue down okay now i'm gonna try one with this kind of glue really don't need much i'm just gonna tap it around and that's probably plenty. Oh, I was going to use the glue stick. See if that worked. Let me get that off. See how I forget? I forget. All right. Now then, I'm going to spread it out. Make sure you get it to the edges, even though there's not going to be anything on the edges. Now, I have this paper down, okay, because I don't want to get glue and all that on my mat. You can put down it. You can put a piece of notebook paper under there if you want. Just something to keep the glue off of you. What you're working on your surface, okay? So there we go. And got that. I don't think I put too much. Of course I did. I always do. So how was y'all's weekend, baby? I did not know today was a holiday. Did not know. All right, I'm just going to wipe this off. And I'm going to come up through here and get these corners. Just like that, because I don't want that glue in there. So just wipe your little corners if you get it in there. Okay? And that's going to be that. All right. Now we're going to try this. Glue stick. Dollar Tree. And it's purple, but it dries to clear. Okay? So here we go. And it looks like it might work pretty good, don't it? I'm probably going to get it everywhere, all on the sides and everywhere, but that's okay. I'll wipe it off. I'm already getting in the cracks. Oh, my God. I don't know how this works on wood. But we shall see. Just in case you don't have glue that dries to clear, you can use a stick. And it's drying already. Y'all see it? I gotta hurry up and get my paper on here. I'll go back over it just a little bit. Alright, there we go now. Put that to the side. And let's put our cardstock on. Now, what you want to do is make sure it's turned the way you want it. Okay? And we're just going to put it down. 
put it down. Give it a little press, and we're going to leave it. Going to leave it there, okay? Now you can use Mod Podge. Of course you can, Mod Podge. All right, and this one we're going to be using this color, okay? So we're just going to put that on. If you want, you can make sure it's even, but it's really not going to matter because we're going to jag up these edges, you see. So it really don't matter because I don't like this square. So I'm going to let the glue soak in, and then I'm going to tear it, all right? Now you can use your this right here, or you can use your scalpel. This. Now what this does when you do it, you just make, I make like little squares like this. Now you want to come out to this edge because that's going to, when you put your paint on there, it's going to give it some definition on these edges. Now you just chop it up. Move this out of the way. It's in my way. Just give it a good old chopping. See there? Then, just keep going all the way around. Now, that's where the butterfly goes. Now, you want to just chop this just a little bit. Just to get that looking right. Go in, rub with your finger, get the excess off. It's so easy. It's so easy. Mm -hmm. It's not hard. It's just easy piece. Let me tell y'all what. I was bored one day. I think when Lillian was here and I was looking for something quick to do. While she was napping. And um, I looked in my wood drawer and I found these. I said, oh, honey, baby. And then I remembered I had the cardstock. God bless. I said, oh, yeah. Couldn't do that. And I posted it on my community tab. And y'all loved it. Thank y'all for commenting on my community tab. Y'all are so sweet. And choosing which one of those you like the best. And these is going to be a different color. I didn't want to do the same color. Because y'all had done seen it. You know. So I just wanted to show you. Real quick how to do it. Because I think it would be cute. I have this... Uh, I don't, it's not a shelf, it's built in looking thing that goes around the top of my kitchen. I guess it is a shelf, but I have like roosters sitting up there and I thought when I got my kitchen redone in lemons that um, I could set these up there and that'd be just cute, wouldn't it? Now you just keep doing the same thing all the way around, okay? We're going to cut this because I don't need that. Or you can tear it however you want to do it. Now, I'm just uh, taking chances here with this knife and not having a cutting mat under it. But, hey, you want to make sure your knife is sharp so it will cut right where you want it. All right. We'll do this one and then I'll do the other one and it don't take long and like I say you can tear it off you know just to, so it won't have that square I can't stand it I enjoyed my little vacation oh my goodness did I enjoy it I think what I enjoyed the most was riding on the beach on the uh, golf cart I think <laughs> <laughs> I think that was my best time ever. <laughs> oh, I love that golf cart. Mm, mm. I had fun. I really did. Probably be a long time before I go anywhere else, but that's fine because I really enjoyed myself. And y'all know what? No matter how much you enjoy, you're enjoying it. When you walk in your front door, oh my God, don't it feel so good to be home? 
It feels so good. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. And girly and cookie. Oh, honey. They all over me. All over me. All right. I'm just going to tear that. I'll come back and let's just tear it. Easy pea. Little craft. And it's so cute. Now I'm going to show y'all where I get those. I got a whole box of crosses. And I think it was off of Amazon. I think it was like 80 crosses in that box. And they was not high at all. Mm -mm. Now you see how it's scraping up the edge here? When you put that paint on there, it's going to look like the butterfly has, you know, the little things that the butterfly has on their wings. You know what I mean. Don't you? Don't you know what I mean? Just scrap it. Scrap it up. All right. Get off. Okay. It don't take long, really. Do not cut your mat, Wanda. Do not. I'm trying to keep the blade off of the paper. I mean, I'll, yeah, off of this paper. So it won't uh, touch my mat. I'm taking this off. I can't stand it. I'm going to cut it. Let me see. I might can stick it. Oh, yeah. Under there. Pull that off so I can get in that middle. There we are. I'll get that off later. Now, it was stopping me from getting up close. I think my paper, I mean my blade is getting dull. Hadn't changed in, in a while. Y'all, when I got home, I had a mold. <gasps> I don't know. This is for the skull lovers. Y'all know I love me some skulls. So, there, it's a pot plant. You put a, a plant in it. Pot stand, whatever. Pot. It's a pot. You have to put a plant in. Okay. And it's double-sided. Skull on each side. Oh, Jesus Christ. So I got that. All right. Now you want to look. Turn it over, see? And you want to cut where you got this excess paper at because you don't want it. Don't need it. Yeah, I think my. I'll just, I'm just going to pull it off. Okay, now I'm going to jagger up this side a little bit. I bet I cut my mat. I bet I did, didn't I? Dang it. I know I did. It's an old mat. I need new mats. God bless it. All my mats are horrible. I've got a big uh, black mat from Less Resin. And um, I've cleaned it a couple times, but I think it needs it again. And we're going to right here. I'm hoping I'm in frame. God, I didn't even think about it. I'm just going to cut this up. You want some of the wood showing so you can put your paint on. Okay. So I'm just going to come in here. Cut that up just a little bit. Same here. Now you can put glitter on here. Around the edges. After you, I paint first, then I put glitter. I think I did it on the blue one that I put on my community tab. I think I used uh, glitter on that one. And then I went over it with uh, glue. Mm -hmm. Just put you some glue down. And uh, let go, please. I'm going to give this a good rubbing. Pull off what I don't want. Like that and that. And I'm gonna chop this up just a little bit. 
Now your mess is going to be up here. So I'm going to fold this over. Hope it don't fall through that hole I cut. And I'm going to use this side here. Okay. Now this side here looks a little... I want it jaggy. Be careful with your scalpel, babies. It's sharp. Be really careful. Honey, it was slashy. Tell me. It was slashy, babies. Oh, God. I don't want nobody getting cut. But I thought this was the cutest little... Just this little statement piece in your kitchen, wherever you want it. Living room, you can put a hanger on the back of it and hang it on your porch. Make you a butterfly scene on, on your porch. If you have a covered porch. If you don't have a covered porch. If you have a covered porch. If you don't have a covered porch. You can cover it in resin. And hang it. Hang it up. Mm -hmm. Now, alcohol inks fade in the sun. They do. They fade. So, I wouldn't do alcohol ink. Because over time, it's going to fade in the sun. And resin will turn yellow. So, I'm thinking, if you're going to put it outside, use a uh, waterproof Mod Podge. That'd be great. And you won't have to worry about that. I put a little short on my under my shorts on my YouTube channel if y'all want to watch it. It's just the little pictures of my vacation, so thought y'all might want to see a little bit of it. I didn't want to bore y'all to death. There you go. So I just made a little short. Alright. Now everything's looking okay. Let's get that. Don't want that on there. You don't have to do your edges like this. You can make it however you want it, babies. However you want it. But I like mine chopped. I'm going to show y'all those crosses. Just back and forth X's. That's all I do. Until the paper comes off. Okay. I do it all the way around. Don't worry about your knife cutting into this wood. Because that's going to be a good thing. Okay? Alright. Now, that should be great. Just give it a rub. Make sure you got all the little pieces off. And you got it all jagged wherever you want it. Okay. There's a little piece right here I missed. Let's get that. And then we'll be done. I can move to the next step. Keep my little bee on there. Alright. There we are. Get my little tails because I want them jagged cut up with this knife. Wherever you see wood, just take your knife and score it. That's the word. That's the word. Score it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I got this pretty good. In the head. 
just want to make sure I got it scored good. I think so. I think that's it. Y'all still with me? Are y'all still with me, babies? Okay. All right. Now, yes, I make a mess. I do make a mess. I don't know. Make a mess, baby dolls. I'm going to move this. All right. Let me get this cleaned and I'll be right back. All right, babies. I found my quilting mat. Now, I don't quilt, so I'm going to use it for a um, cutting board. <laughs> and. When you pull the sticker off the back, it leaves some sticky. So you put it on your cutting board. Something just fell. Push it down. What is that noise? Hold on, honey. Okay. I have no idea what that was. All right, now then, let me move this out of the way so y'all can see what I'm doing to this one. What I'm gonna see, it'll just stay on there. See there? And you can just move your mat. Now, this is what I'm doing. Same thing. Same thing to this one that I did to the other one. Okay. Same old thing. Make sure you score your edges here. Okay. See? Just makes it look like it's got. there. See that? Mm-hmm. It's going to be pretty when we're done. All right, darlings, let me finish this one. I'll be back. All right. You want to seal your paper. Now, I've already done mine, so it would dry. It's not quite dry, but anyway, this is what I use. This from the Dollar Tree, and it is water-based sealer, glue, and finish. Okay? Gloss. All right, now then, because mine's not going outside. It's going in the kitchen. If You need waterproof uh, my Podge if you're going to be putting them outside anywhere. Okay? Now, I got Renfrio. Let's see what color this is. Uh, laser Fine Red Glitter. It's going to go there around the edges of this one. And then I have Into Resin No Saint Glitter uh, Yellow for this one. Okay? And then I got this out, Ice Ice Baby. I thought that was just pretty. Look at that. Ain't that a pretty sparkle? But I don't know if I'm going to be using it or not. But I do have affiliate links for the N2 resin down below. Oh, and I wanted to tell y'all, Less Resin has got their two-gallon uh, epoxy resin on sale. Yes, they do love machines. And let me make sure I'm right about the price because I want y'all to know baby this is a deal hundred dollars let me get to it and I'll let y'all know for sure what the price is okay for two gallons of less resin epoxy resin is a hundred and thirty five dollars y'all that's for two gallons then you can use my affiliate link coupon code and get 10 more percent off of that. Honey, I don't want y'all to miss that good old deal. So, I, I wanted to let y'all know that before I forgot. Because y'all know I'll forget. Alright, now then what we're finna do. We're going to take these little cups. Now this is from Less Resin 2. I'm going to put me a little Mod Podge in here. Okay. You can use glue. You can use this glue here. And just put you a bead around. Shake your glitter on it and go on about your business. Okay? But I wanted to do it different than I did the last two. So I'm going to put me a little Mod Podge in here. That's probably too much. I know it is. I know it is. I'm going to put a little bit back in this bottle. I know that's too much. Well, yeah. Let's just put some back. Okay. That ought to be good. Remember, seal your paper. Whatever you're putting on here, seal it. Okay? All right, let's do the yellow. I'm excited about these lemons and bubble bees. Them little bees. They're so cute. Look at that pretty yellow. 
Ain't that gorgeous? Like it's gorgeous. So I'm going to put some in here. Which is probably too much. <laughs> oh, God, I know it is. Anyway, I can just add some more Mod Podge to it if it is. But I don't think it's going to be. Yay. I think I got it. It's going to dry clear, and all you're going to see is your glitter. Mm -hmm. Trying to get this in there. I want all that. Mod Podge. Okay, now. Just go around the edges. If you want this, if you don't, use your paint pan. Use your paint pan, babies. Matter of fact, let me show you this. Oh, God. Wanda. Wanda. Let me show you this. I'm going to wipe this off. Just wipe it off. It's on there, though. See that? See it? Glitter fine. Woo! That's some pretty glitter, ain't it? All right. Let's do this. I get my pan going. There we go. That's probably too much. I'm sure. Now since I done done that side. Alright, here we go. We're just gonna tap. Now this is the messy part. Okay. Alrighty, now then, we have got our paint around the edge and our glitter, and it's dry. You don't have to Mod Podge it again, because you've already sealed your paper, and the Mod Podge is in the glitter. So, that's well, that's already been on there now. That's dry. See there, it's not coming off. It's good. My hands are dirty, so you can't tell. But anyway, it's dry. Okay, now then... Let me show you the crosses that I got. Cross charms is what they're called. And you get this box. And there's 80 in there. Now, if you don't want to put a cross, babies, you don't have to. You don't have to put a cross on there. Let me show y'all some options. So I know the, the uh, artists that do resin, they got many of things they've done made. Right, y'all? So, look at this. I'm going to turn this around so y'all can see it. See what it looks like. Look at here. Look how cute this would be in the middle. Shut the front door. And look at this. Put a cherub in the middle of that one. What in the holy mess? Is that not the cutest thing you ever seen? You don't have to put a cross. And if you, um, you could put flowers. Look here. Here goes a little yellow flower. Cute as it, it can be. Or you can put a big flower. Look at that. Throw a green off up in that yellow. Might be a little big, but hey, whatever you like. Now, look here. Here's a red. Look at that. Honey baby, that's gorgeous, is it not? Actually, I love that. I think, I think that's what I'm going with with that one. Or you can put heart. If you got, honey, I know y'all got pieces. Look at that. You can put a heart in the middle of it. Whatever you want to do. But I think I'm going with that on this one. That's just too doggone pretty, ain't it? And look here, I've got a green cherub. You could pop a little green on there. Since there's green leaves. And put your green cherub in the middle of it. You don't have to do a cross, babies. Mm -mm. You do not. You can make it look, um vintage if you want look here here's just a plain white flower with gold around it look at that my god is that not pretty i think it's cute just the cutest ever and then i got this just just that i mean i know y'all have got a whole look at that see now that's that's not shiny and that's pretty that's pretty I love that too. I don't know which one I like the best. I think that one. I think I like that one. That's pretty too though. But I think we're going to go with that one. Okay, now then. So you got options, baby. Put whatever in the middle that you want in the middle of it. Whatever. Look at this little thing. Honey, there's another little one. And look at this one. Look at that one. Just too sweet. 
I mean, it's cute. Look, you could put one of these balls in there. Look at that. Put you one of those, uh, what they call, I don't even know, floral decoration. See what that looks like. Shoot, why not? Look at that. Got to be more careful. So, honey, it's unlimited what you can do. Look at that, though. Oh, holy mess. Look at that. Is that not cute? Wouldn't that be cute in a little girl's room? I think it'd be precious. I think it'd be precious. The black with the yellow. Look at that because the bumblebees has black on it. Oh, baby. Whatever y'all want to put on there, I'm telling you. It don't have to be a cross. It does not. Go through your jug. I have three jugs. Look at this. Full of stuff that I have made. So just go through your jugs and find you something that's going to match. That's pretty, though. I'm loving that. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going with that. I'm going with that one. Look at that, though. There's a pop. Pop of color on the yellow. So, whatever, whatever, honey, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to put on there, look at that, mm -mm. whatever you want to do, it don't even matter, now I think I'm going to go with this one, I think I'm going to put that on that one, because I think that is just precious, is it not, now let me show you what the cross will look like on there, I'm going with that, that, I love that. I, I'm not changing that. Now, if you want a cross on there, put your cross. Look at that. See? Now, that's just that's pretty, is it not? And you could paint your cross, or you could put you some glitter on your cross. But I like it just plain wood. I do. I like it. I can't believe it, because I don't like just brown. But I do like that cross brown. Yeah. This is what we're going with, babies. This is what we're going with. All right, I'm just going to put some glue on this cross and glue it down. I'm going to just use this glue stick because it's sticking to paper, you see. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to work, honey. I'm not sure, but we're going to see if I can hurry up and get it on there or not. All right, I want it in the center, so I'm going to go from the top. Just like that. Give it a little push. Hold it for just a minute. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to work on this resin. I hope it does. I hope since it's gluing to paper, you would think it would. I'm going to let that sit there for just a little bit. And I'm just going to do my little wings here. Now, I don't even know if it's going on there because my, my angel is black. So... Yeah, it is. I see it now. Yay. I'm going to put a little bit here and a little bit there. Okay. Now we got to get this. Now that might not be enough. I'm going to look in my camera. Oh, there we go. I see it. I love her. Oh, is she not pretty? I'm going to hold her down for just a second. Push on these wings because that's where I got the glue. And let her just sit there for a second. I think I'm going to put a little yellow on my cross. Oh, my God. Maybe just outline it. You know, just a little. Just hit it. Just hit it just a little. Around the edges. Just to make it pop a little bit. Sorry, I know I'm in the way. There we go. There we go, babies. Stop, Wanda. Stop, Wanda. Stop. Okay. Now that just made it pop just a little bit. 
All right, darlings, I think that's glued. And there's the yellow one. How pretty is that? Just simple. Simple and pretty. Love that yellow glitter. Jesus Christ. Everything I use to be in the descriptions, baby. If you don't know where the description is, up under my video, the name of my video, you'll see the word more. Look at that. That's precious. Click on the word more, and you'll see everything I use down in the description. You'll see links for the glitter and affiliate link because I have an affiliate link for the into resin. And, um, not into resin. Good bless it. The in, yeah, into resin glitter. No sink. Okay. And, um, affiliate links, coupon codes for that, uh, two gallon resin baby. It's usually, oh my God, 170 something, I think. <gasps> Jump on it, baby dolls, and use that 10% coupon, and you'll get some more off. So it'll be even cheaper. What, 110 maybe? Not sure. Not sure about math. Not too good at math. But anyway, darlings, let's do the blessing board. Uh, blessing board for June, Miss Stacy, Miss Francis, and Miss Tammy. Continue prayers for, uh, oh, I think. Miss Allie said, I'm going to just go ahead and do it because I'm not for sure. And I'll look and make sure which one I'm supposed to take off of the prayer board. Okay. Uh, continue prayers for Mr. Jean. That's Cerulean Blue's husband. Um, Miss Christine. Mr. Larry. That's Miss Allie's husband. Uh, Miss Lisa. Miss Carol Anson Christ. And Miss Brenda Levi. Her, um... Oh, my God. Nephew. Oh, Jesus Christ. Honey, when you go somewhere and you come back, your mind's just blank, ain't it? I, I'm going to have it right. I'm going to have it right. I promise I'm going to get it. All right, let's do the prayer card. Miss Brenda Levi's. I got it. I, 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 I. Give me one minute. Miss Christine Watkins, nephew. He is 16 years old. Baby dolls, and he needs a heart transplant. Please let's send prayers for that baby, for him to get a heart transplant as soon as possible. All right, darlings, I love y'all, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video, baby dolls, because I sure enjoyed doing it. I did. I enjoyed it. Let's get a prayer card. Actually, it is loving words from Jesus. Now, I have that down there, too, if y'all want to order some of these. They help me. I read one every day, just whether I do a video or not, I read one. Because it just makes me, I, I don't know, makes me feel so much better. It does. Okay, here we go, darlings. Be a good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. Be, be of good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. Amen. Matthew chapter 9 verse 22. Is that not beautiful? They are so, these are some beautiful cards. I like my angel puffs. I'm going to show y'all this right here right quick. This video is going to be long, but you know what? It's okay. I have got to show y'all this. I'm sorry. Oh, Miss Rose. Oh, Lord Jesus. Y'all look at this. Oh, my God. I don't. Oh, Lord. Can y'all see it? Probably not because it's white. It's a double sided skull plant pot. <laughs> pot plant. Uh, you know, you put your flower in it. Okay. You put your flower in it. Look how deep and big. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I can't wait, baby. Now, here's the other two I did. Here's the other two. So, y'all let me know which one you like the best. Which one do you like the best, babies? I'm going to raise you up so you can see. Lord mercy, this camera does what it wants to. 
I got it held on to the pole with duct tape. Come on, camera. Come on. You have to slap it around sometimes. And then I got this hummingbird. Is that not pretty? And it's holographic. I'm going to make a wind, wind chime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to start putting my extra resin in it. Yeah, and be making some. Then I got, these are called bubble. Look at that. Make bubbles. And then I got a little square one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So that's going to be left out. Then I got this, keys. So we're going to be doing that one. And then I got this, of course I did. And this has got vines and leaves wrapped around a cross. Of course, I got, oh, I thought that was just so pretty. It was so pretty. Now, I found this at Walmart. I love Walmart glitter. It is a disco sparkle. Look at that. Is that not pretty? 97 cents. Can't beat it with a stick. All right, baby dolls. I'm going to go. And we're going to be doing the um, uh, bath board that Miss Sam sent me from Sam I Am Resin Craft. And uh, as soon as my uh, Less Resin Epoxy comes in, because I don't have enough to do it. Okay? So, we've got to wait on that. All right, darlings? So, I love y'all to pieces, and I appreciate y'all so very much. And uh, y'all enjoy the rest of your day, and let me know which one of these you like the best. I think this one's my favorite, that red. That's so pretty. Oh, God. That is just gorgeous. Now, I went ahead and painted the sides, too. I love that. I love that. That one's pretty, too. I love lemons. I'm finna do my kitchen in lemons. And then here's the blue one. Y'all seen that one. Now this still got the thing on it. I didn't take it off yet. But it's coming off. And then there is the uh, daisies, I guess. That's daisies, I think. Mm -hmm. So there they are, love machines. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace, love, prayers, and happiness, babies. Bye.